I mean, so on the one hand, I, I, I don't know, rather we should have humility about what will actually catch on in terms of what shapes our culture, what proves useful to people creating. Um, I think one way to think about it is, you know, is this sort of like the, you know, the synthesizer or like computer generated graphics or Photoshop where, you know, at first, um, there was a lot of people said, this is not, you know, this is not music. This is not art. Um, and over time it became integrated into artistic processes in a variety of ways. And now you don't think of something of like, you know, this is, you don't go to the movie theater theater and see something labeled as this is a CGI movie. This is a computer graphics movie. I mean, sure. You, some may rely on computer graphics more than others, but it's just sort of part of artistic processes. And I think this may be similar, that it may be anachronistic in not too long to have the idea that, oh, this is Gen AI art, right? It just might be something um, connected within. As an example of that, you know, consider that um, you know, Oscar winner from last year, Everything Ever All at Once, use the generative AI tool Runway to do editing in one of its more famous scenes. You know, nobody knew that that was generative AI at the time. Nobody said, oh, this is a generative AI movie, but it was part of their artistic process. And I think that's, you know, more where we're head. You know, from sort of the more, the thing about the policy perspective and the, the impacts around creators and creativity, I think the key thing to start with is that, to acknowledge that generative AI is driving an abundance of creativity. From the perspective of copyright, it's great, right? Copyright is to incentivize creativity. So that the ch fundamentally is not at odds with the, the issues of copyright. And indeed, I think most of the concerns that people have aren't really copyright problems. Um, that said, I do get the concerns, right? I think a lot of creators are worried about if, um, how will the benefits of this technology really be spread? Will they be concentrated among a few big companies or will they really benefit a large amount of people, including creators? And in particular, will this be used to sort of automate people out of a job like those are relevant questions i think those are questions that apply far broader than just the arts and creativity when it comes to ai and they demand sort of solutions and approaches that look beyond copyright that think about more holistically how do we want to think about the role of automation in our society to make sure it really does drive widely shared benefits and not just concentrated benefits for a few companies